Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Thursday. I have Toby, Teddy and Thomas today. The three T's. I am going to find this very difficult to string a sentence together and to call their names because the T's are going to confuse me. I can guarantee it. So we've got some Duplo set out. Let me turn this around and show you. I've got the Duplo over there because they were really enjoying that, um, Teddy and Toby, when they came on Tuesday. And I know Thomas likes the fire station, so I've got that out on the table. Um, and then the standard outdoorsy stuff, and we are going to go to forest school as well. And then I will probably put some drawing or something out on this table. That was harder than I was expecting. That was actually trickier than the usual 500 piece that I usually do. That was a bit of a challenge. Thanks, Imo. Not there. So what's your tr crane called, Teddy? Skya. Skya the Cranosaurus. Cranosaur. The Cranosaur, okay. And what's the aeroplane called? Uh, the scrap, um, Scrapasaurus? No, Discrapodon. Oh, Discrapodons, okay. Yeah, they, they go up in the sky and scrap. I like it. And they've got chainsaw teeth. Chainsaw teeth. Yeah. You have and a very good imagination. Oh. Did you save him? Good boy, well done. That, that will be a very happy damselfly, well done. Dragons! Dragons! Animals, look dragons. You've got a big dragon, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, dragon, scary shaggy. I'm a dragon. Why are they in the sky? You're a dragon for a He got his nose stuck. Uh, the diggers been in there, have they digging up the truck? No. No. I did. You did it, not the yeah. diggers. Thought maybe the diggers had done it. I thought the diggers had done it. Who's trapped? The bear. The bear's trapped. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Yeah. Thomas is just showing me what he's doing. Yeah. Look what happened. What happened? Yeah. The lifter can't take the way. The rescue helicopter is here. Okay, this is difficult. This is difficult. We can't tow it. It's just too hard. <laughs> the hole, pull it through, and slide it all the way, oopsie, did you slide it slightly the wrong way? So push it through there, and push it all the way down to those, well done. What one next? This one. Blue one. Where could that hook? What goes here? What goes where? What goes there? Uh, nothing. That was the engine. It used to zoom when you press the key, like turn the key like that. It used to zoom off. But even with new batteries, it doesn't do it anymore. Zoom. Yeah, like it used that. to kind of go by itself. Like this. And that's like that's meant to be the engine. We have lists of things that must be done today for each of us. Uh, and I had to show you this as well. Camper Van Gaz, go check him out. He's um, He's got a lovely channel, relatively new, I believe, to the YouTube world. 
I don't think it's been going very long, but he sent me a sticker to put on Spog, and uh, I need to remember to post him some stickers um, to put on his van. So yeah, if you haven't already checked him out, go check him out. And Toby and Thomas. Yes, three T's. The terrible T's. The terrible T's, you said it, not me. You can manage it. That's it, turn around backwards like you did before. We've problem solved. We didn't have a back, so we've like a back to our to our what are we sat on? A tire. So we're using each other as a although you're more leany than I am. Splat. Splat. Did you lock the gate? Uh, no. Did you shut the gate? It's kind of hard to move when you've got a really Okay, well, you might barrel. want to go and do that before any children escape then. Ah, uh, they won't do that. They will be all right for a minute because I can see there. them. Rock, rock. Problem solving. We have Is that made... a tiny walk? Rock, rock, I said, not walk, walk. No, walk. Oh, uh, what on the music wall? Tiny walk. Yeah, probably. Uh, tiny walk. Tiny walk, people. I thought the whole point of a wok was just to shove everything in it and just... Maybe if you've got a tiny cooker. That's maybe you've got a tiny appetite. That's, that's you know, camping stove level. Well, maybe tiny. that's what it is. Authentication cuisine. On the move. On the go. We will, we will walk you. We will walk you. <laughs> so we will, we will thing. walk you. Somebody's got a speech impediment. Rock we, you! We, we woo, we woo. We woo, we woo, walk you! No! Brendan's done a load of watering and now he's using what little power is left in the trimmers to continue cutting back brambles. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's got a lot of power, does it? Sounds like it's struggling. So the big one, if you can get it, I know it's not the ideal tool. And there's also a branch above it that needs a lot lopper in. Might have to come at it sort of in two bits, like half chop and then chop again. Bit of welly. Excellent. Oh, well done. Well done, my lad. Right, if you can pull that this way and then I will try and grab hold of it because it's in the hole. We need it to come this way. Hmm. What have you got in your eye? Well, firstly, the fact that the bush is stuck moving towards my face. All right, okay. Are you able to push it this way? I'm on the opposite side of the hole, so... A little bit further, a little bit further. Oh, well done, my lad. Um, and then the other branches that are overhanging need to come off as well. So there's another one that could definitely do with a good... Uh, good lop. Oh, my muscles ache from this. <laughs> They're all wobbly. Yeah, that one. Yes, love. Uh, I'll bring you some more water over in a minute, okay? I'm. Oh uh, no, I'll I'll bring it over to you in a minute, sweetie. That's it, good boy. Whoops. Is that going to come down? Is there another branch holding it on maybe? Because there's two different trees there, isn't there? Keep going. Keep going. Well, go go in front of it and push rather than pull. Really? Shall I come around the other side and give it a pull? Maybe with two of us we could. Probably get to a better position if it wasn't our Oh yeah, I see what you mean. It is quite tied still, isn't it? I am very precarious. Yeah, it is still very tied. Like this. Oh my goodness, it's an entire bag of chocolate. What a waste. And sweeties. Why would people throw their sweeties away? Well, they haven't thrown their sweeties away, have they? They've just thrown them in the bushes. That's not good, is it? Not good for the wildlife. 
Alright, if there's dirt, the plants will die. Yeah. Yeah, we have to look after our plants and things, don't we? And the green one yeah. is mine. We have to make sure we look after all the wildlife and that we clear up after ourselves. This one's mine. Here we are. Oh, did you find... Oh, was... Let's put that in there then, if you I found some. Mine. Yeah, you took yours home yes, uh, last time we were here. I watched you put it in the bag because I sent you back for it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, and a bottle. Thank you for holding that bag, Thomas. You're doing such a good job. There's a bit more rubbish. Oh, yeah, that wood can go out. You can play with the wood if you like. But we just want to put all the rubbish in the bag. Go on, then you swing. Woohoo! Look at you on that. Oh, did you get a bramble scratch when you fell over? Pepper. You're a brave boy. Oh, yeah. Pet? Yeah. Are you doing a small children vlog? A vlog? I am. I am doing Pippa's vlog. Doing a good job. Oh, you are going quite high. He is. Right, just remember, the higher you go, just check the branches first because some of them are... That's quite strong. Yeah, some of them are beginning to rot. Look how high I am. You're doing really well. It's just gone seven o'clock and I have just had a lovely meeting with the family of a new little boy that's going to be starting um, either side of preschool. Um, so he'll be coming in the morning and he'll be coming in the afternoon. Um, yes, just had a nice cup of tea and a chat with them. And he was showing me all his cars and other things. So it was really sweet. I babysit for him anyway, so he knows me quite well. Um, so we're just talking about him starting in September. We need to go and send the forms over now. Um, it's my weekend. It's my weekend. I know I'm a part timer. I only do three days, but still, I'm getting old. <laughs> so yes, um, really good day with the boys. Bit of a difficult afternoon the last hour, but other than that, we've had a really good day together. Lots of outdoor time, as you saw. We, Brendan and I, while they were happy playing, you know, in the pirate ship and having their lunch and what have you, and playing tag and all the other bits they were doing. We managed to get quite a bit of forest school, that hole trimmed with the trimmers and the loppers and stuff, which was really good. It is quite nice to be able to go and take them somewhere where they can just be completely free, be noisy, be energetic and just explore and make a mess and do all those sorts of things. There's no toys. So there's a completely different type of play when there's no toys involved. And they're really creative and really imaginative. And, and actually I can do a little bit of maintenance on forest school at the same time, which is really good. So while I'm there, they don't, the thing is as well as they don't need me because their creativity is fired by just being in that space and their imaginations are fired and the games they come up with are just fantastic. You know, oh, we're going to be dinosaurs or we're going to play hide and seek or we're going to play in the mud kitchen or now we're pirates and, you know, They've got all that space to just just be and so yeah i'm kind of just there as the facilitator i brought them there i'll take them home i'll make sure that any squabbles are resolved carefully if they need me to step in you know i'm just there to kiss boo-boos and rub sore bits and blow noses that's it really, provide food and drink. Um, they just, it's completely different. It's completely different when we're in that space. And not having toys to argue over reduces so much more of the friction as well. There's nothing to argue over, you know. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. I just think it's an awesome space and more people should go out and find a space to use and be free. I'm gonna stop now. I'm just, I'm getting on a rant about kids outside. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely helps um so yeah so tomorrow is friday and i don't know what i'm doing i think i'm going to do some puzzles i'm just looking at my puzzle tower and thinking i need to adjust it slightly because it's kind of doing this uh it looks like it might fall over um so yes i'll probably sit and do a puzzle tomorrow hopefully go for a walk 
don't know really we'll see what tomorrow brings see what i fancy anyway thanks for watching you lovely lot and i'll see you all tomorrow